Red Beard be cracking open yet another beer brought to him by his best friend Marcel, because his best friend Marcel is better than your best friend Marcel. <gasps> what? Be going down, people of the world! My name is Red Beard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Flying Fokker Oktoberfest beer by the Barnstormer Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. It's another one of their seasonal beers along the lines of the, uh, that rye stouty type stuff and the Imperial IPA that were had. They, they make quite a few seasonal beers and stuff that doesn't make it to the LCBO. This was purchased at the brewery. And unlike a lot of beers that are purchased at breweries, it actually has a date on it even though it was purchased at the brewery. And as you can see, it was canned on October 2nd, so... Yeah, um... It's, uh... Five, I believe, percent alcohol, so... It should still be okay. Let's still my beard. Should still be okay, but it's probably nearing the end of its, like, best before date. Look at that. Trying to be a bit of a bastard. Let's see what we've got. Yes, this is, uh... Definitely a little bit of a foamy beer. A little bit of a head going on there. Seems kind of dark. I'm kind of hoping this is going to be along the lines of that fest beer that was had by Soda City, I believe, was the most recent one. I think I can... Yeah, this is going to fit. That looked back. Actually turned out to be a pretty nice pour. Not bad. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world go to those of you watching my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, she's definitely a little dark and well, kind of a little on the... Depending on the light you look at it, like when I'm showing it like that, that actually looks kind of brown, but in the light, it looks kind of amber and cloudy and weird. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can make this better for you to see. There you go. See? Do you see the kind of, kind of prettiness to it? I don't know. It's weird. It's got a decent malty aroma to it. Like I said, I'm really hoping this is along the lines of that Sawdust City best beer stuff. Let's give her a shot. Yeah, that's not bad. Surprisingly, just like the beer yesterday, this is kind of along the lines of like an ESB or something. A little bit of bitterness, decent multi flavors going on. It's it's pretty good. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And, of course, cheers to you, Marcel. Thank you very much. You're the man. The man who often gives me terrible beers. <laughs> but this... Pretty good. Especially considering, I bet that maybe it might have been a little bit more on the bitter side, a little more of a hoppy presence, possibly. A couple months ago, like I said, brewed on October 2nd, now December 21st, so almost three months actually. But still pretty damn tasty. Nothing bad going on at all. Today being December 21st, on the date in 1620, William Bradford and the Mayflower Pilgrims landed on what is now known as Plymouth Rock in Plymouth, Massachusetts. 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 One of those words that I never really fully learned the correct pronunciation of, I guess. Massachusetts. I, I'm sure a lot of people say that word a little differently. I'd imagine. On this date in 1913, uh, Arthur Wynne's Word Cross, the first crossword puzzle, was published in the New York World. I don't know what the New York World is. Either a newspaper or a magazine of some kind, I would assume, in 1913? Probably. Yeah. Really smooth, really just nice, 
easy drinking beer with some some good character to it. I like. I like a lot. On this date in 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the world's first full-length animated movie, was premiered at the Carthay Circle Theater. I didn't even know that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the first animated feature movie that the world ever saw. Hey, if I learned something, so that you can learn something. Learning is fun, or something. good stuff and barnstormer slightly shit the bed when they made this label nice picture all that kind of stuff but another one of those ones where look at all the blank space where they could have put something talking about this beer is it aircraft beer all natural unfiltered always barnstormer brewing and distilling company yeah And also, whoever made that, you missed a space after brewing and before the and symbol there. Yeah, well done. Well done, label makers. <laughs> or I guess, proofreader? I don't know. Somebody fucked up. Didn't really fuck up the beer though, so could be a lot worse. On this date in 1968, Apollo 8 was launched from the Kennedy Space Center, placing its crew on a lunar lunar blah 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 lunar trajectory for the first visit to another celestial body by humans. They didn't actually land; they just like went there and circled around and came back home. But as far as like the ultimate road trip with no road. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. Excuse me. This is another one of those beers that's kind of starting to weigh me down a little bit. I must take a moment. I will return. Like, y y y y I'm not really going to go away in your eyes. I'm. It... And we're back. I, I doubt my hands are in the same place as they were, but I thought that'd be... I've never done one of those little, you know, take thing and like, I could be like, ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that worked at all either. Probably not. It's fun to have fun sometimes or something. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice beer. It really is. Almost like a doesn't make sense but almost like a chewy quality kind of in the back of my back of my teeth back of my tongue it's not chewy but that's I don't know I don't know at all <laughs> what really a whole lot of facts for me to read today that I found interesting so I scrolled down through the births and stuff and found out that hey Finally, on this date, in 1948, Samuel L. Jackson was born. So, in honor of that, let's uh, get the rest of this motherfucking beer into this motherfucking stomach. <laughs> yeah, drink it with last. <sighs> Barnstormer. Your flying Fokker Oktoberfest beer. Rating. Solid 8. Might have been a 9 if your can didn't kind of suck. There's no ingredients on here either. Which, bought at the brewery, I can accept. There's a date, so, you know, you could have still put the ingredients. I don't know. Not bad beer. 
pretty bad can. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! That was absolutely a very decent beer, Barnstormer. <laughs> Fix your cans!